नमस्ते पितृपक्ष और महाल्य पक्ष वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट श्राद्ध मास दिस इज दिशियस टाइम टू कनेक्ट अवर एंसेस्टर्स टू डिपार्टेड ऑल द डिपार्टेड सोल्स दिस कंक्लूड्स विद महाल्य अमावासिया एंड मोस्ट ऑफ एन पीपल आर कन्फ्यूज वॉट टू डू ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम हाउ टू बी कनेक्टेड एंसेस्टर्स वॉट आर द पूजाज वी शू डू वॉट वी शूड रिफ्रेन फ्राम All these questions often come to me from my clients and YouTube viewers. Stay tuned to this video as you will get to know exactly what you need to do to connect to your ancestors, to receive their grace and blessings, and also to progress in life in all aspects. This is Meekla here from Pujas Dotin. Just before the number three, we have this 15-day golden period where we connect to the ancestors consciously. this is called as the pitru paksha now during the pitru paksha people often are very confused to do even god's pujas and things like that but what i want to tell you is that uh, there is no restriction in doing your sadhana in doing your pujas the daily rituals that you're doing you don't have any such restriction that uh, there is anything like you can't do a jap or you can't do a havan you can do all these things no no shubha karya shubha karya means yeah, like in a house warming ceremony or a marriage or a opening up or anything which is very auspicious in terms of a new beginning you may um, refrain from doing that now what exactly you need to do during the pitrupaksh is basically connect to the ancestors how do you do that so you do that in a way like uh, for example if your um, great grandparents or grandparents or parents have passed away uh, on a certain tithi during the mahalya paksha the 15 day period you could do the um, their shraddha on that particular tithi that is one thing that you can do now the next thing that you should do is also give for annadanam in their name in the in their name means in their remembrance it's very good to do annadana it's very good to do uh, charity uh, either to a brahmin you can do annadan or you can even do it to poor people or you could do both and usually what happens during the pitru paksha is all your departed ancestors will come down to earth they descend to earth in their sukshma rupa and then they see how you are uh, showing uh, your respects to them how you are paying their obeisance your obeisance to them how are you connecting consciously to them they try to see that and when they try to see that you are you are aware about their presence okay good my grands and my great grands and my son my daughter they are thinking about me i should bless them good they are leading a good life they uh, they will be very happy to see that you are uh, having that bhai and bhakti bhai bhakti is a uh, a phrase which we use in uh, most often in kannada but we say that it's basically reverence that is the exact word in english i can say it's not fear it's reverence so they also try to see how much reverence you have for them and uh, uh, how much are you remembering them during this time so see because they don't have a physical body you cannot see them or fathom them with your eyes but the physical eyes i mean to say but definitely they nurture you uh, they will make their presence felt in your uh, in a through a dream or just you'll be thinking why am i suddenly remembering uh, him or her so much and you will try to connect in that way <coughs> excuse me so some people also try to uh, you know they cook all the favorite dishes or uh, what they liked very much if they remember and then they uh, keep it in a room and they close the door and then they pray that uh, they come and take the blessings and also the food prasadam this is usually practiced by the non brahmins okay not all but some some caste they do that this is one variation but they somehow try to do what i'm trying to tell you here is each and every sect has to remember their ancestors because ancestors are the roots in fact uh, i have made one video called pitru dosh karmic cleansing you may uh, watch it in one of the in the playlists it will be there in the in that i have mentioned more about how to connect to the ancestors and if you don't connect what are the repercussions in this i'm saying if you connect what are the repercussions so when you do this exactly what happens is they will be very santusht so they will bless oh my grandson is so devoted 
let him grow, let him have a progeny, let her grow, let her have a progeny, let her have, let her get married on time, let them be blessed with children, let their family progress even spiritually, let them progress financially, let them progress in terms of lineage. Like that they will come and they will bless them. What some people do is, they also go to holy places and then they perform shraddha there. For example, in Gaya, it's very auspicious to perform the Pinda Shraddha. In Kashi, Dana is Shreshta because you have to give either money to Brahmins or uh, you know, Anadhan, you can do because Kashi is known for Anadhana. And you have to do uh, Vastradhana also, you can do to Brahmins, it's very auspicious. You can get Vidrabhisheka performed in the Pitreshwar Mahadev Mandir, which is meant for the Pitrus only. And uh, you could also just uh, uh, randomly choose a few sannyasis and who are walking on the road and if you happen to meet them, seek their blessings, give them some dhan, master dhan, it's very good. In Allahabad, Mundashrada, so what they do is basically they offer their hair. So as Mundan, like they offer their hair to the ancestors and they come back. So basically when you go there, you need a priest to guide you through the rituals and take you through each of the steps. But in uh, at home, assuming you can't do anything of that sort, you cannot travel and things like that, please uh, do the regular Shraddha routine. Or if not anything else, at least on Mahalaya Amavasya, you can after 12 o'clock offer Tarpan to all departed souls, you know. For example, if you may have had friends who parted um, earlier than, um, you know, their age, for example, like up with you, like some accident or some sickness or something like that. You may have had a pet who has died. You may, have, you may have heard of somebody whom you don't even know but you just somehow feel like why do I keep remembering this person all the time or most of the times like that you may have some remembrance of people who are departed all such souls please do give tarpan call a Brahmin priest and get a tarpan uh, ceremony done it's a small ritual that uh, it doesn't take much time also so do that or give anadhan in their name so it's a Sarno Pitra Amavasya we call it where all the Pitra Devatas all the departed souls who have passed away and whom you know who are connected to you in your life, you can offer that point to them. And it's uh, the most uh, satisfying thing for the Pitrus because this is uh, like food for them. They gain energy and for us it's once in a year, for them it's one day. That is how it's equated. Uh, one year in Bhuloka is one day in Pitruloka. So you know, you're giving them food, they'll be very satisfied and they will really bless you uh, to progress in all aspects of life and you will have a lot of peace of mind. I think uh, today what is missing in most of us is peace. We experience uh, very, a few small moments of peace and we are not able to sustain it for long. Uh, just as much as God's grace is very important, Pitru's grace is equally important. You have to remember them. One thing that uh, I had never heard of but my Guru told me, uh, he told all of us actually in one of the satsangs very beautifully that we always do sadhana, we are all sadhaks. We do our japas and we do our meditation and things like that. And definitely we attend satsangs. So it has some kind of an impact, okay? Pal, we say. Hmm? Result. That, a part of that pal, we should offer to Pitru's also. Let the punya, what has been performed by us, let a part or a portion of the punya also go to the ancestors. This is how you should dedicate. Like we are all knowing that I dedicate this song to somebody, I dedicate that to something. We just we are so used to these kind of things in a very superficial way. But when we go uh, very deep and very intense, it's possible and we should dedicate our sadhana, a portion of our sadhana also to the Pitru Devatas. Normally, uh, what we do is everything we say Guru Charana Panamastu or we say Krishna Panamastu, we do that, no? Likewise, when we are doing that also, consciously we say that let the part of this Punya go to the Pitru Devatas. We are what we are today because of them. The body, the genes, the genetic structure, the personality traits, everything we are today is definitely a composition of our Pitru Devatas. So when we do this, what happens is many skills and talents, what they had, will get activated in us, which will help us grow further. 
you know, and if there were some personality traits which were not conducive for the uh, society, like some anger, temperamental issues, or you know, some bad habits they may have had, they'll bless us in a way that we don't, um, you know, nurture those qualities anymore. So that is the beauty, you know, they have some sort of an intelligence, they vibrate in a much higher frequency than us, uh, so they are far more powerful than we are in many ways. So they have the power to uh, activate certain genes in us and at the same time to also make certain genes dormant so that they don't uh, become active and become detrimental for our spiritual progress. So uh, these are the things that you need to do uh, in the Pitra Paksh or Pitramas or Shraddhamas, some of them call it Shraddhamas or Shradh and uh, we, uh, in South India we also call it Mahalya Paksha. So uh, just this is the time to connect to the ancestors all the time. Don't do any sugar karya, what I mean to say is uh, new beginnings, like starting your new business, starting something, uh, buying something new, you know, don't do all that. But you can do your uh, Navagraha Japas, you can do your uh, Parihara Homas. Parihara means solutions, buy. Remedial Homas, you can do uh, Anadan, please do Anadan, it's very, very auspicious. In fact, I do it every year uh, in my mother's name in Kashi and then we also do for my grandparents, uh, we, we do in Kashi because Kashi is where Annapurna ji manifested herself and she gave Bhiksha to Lord Shiva and uh, you know so many people, lakhs and lakhs of people partake Annadanam as her prasadam and uh, definitely it's a very very soul satisfying experience to go and uh, offer Annadan there uh, even otherwise there will be so many people even in Bangalore who need um, that kind of food and Please offer them. Call a Brahmin priest. Do Vastradana, Do Tarpan. Uh, do all these things. Just dedicate at least a day for them. Uh, one is their Titi on which they uh, passed away, and the other one is on Mahalya Amavasya day. That is Sarva Pitra Amavasya. In fact, for Sarva Pitra Amavasya, I have seen my Guru give uh, Tarpan. He gives it to the uh, departed some of the rishis who have uh, left the physical body or some gurus who have left their physical body he offers tarpan to them and then I've seen him offer tarpan even to a dog, his pet who have, uh, all the pets in the ashram who have passed away uh, even to those pets I have seen my guru offer tarpan to them and uh, some friends and some uh, you know sometimes some devotees who have passed away uh, who you know whose time was up and then they had to leave this world, the modern world. Uh, even to them, I have seen him offer that. But it's a very beautiful experience and it's very calming and soothing because you remember them with gratitude. You remember them with so much uh, benign, soft feelings that you just connect to them. And this is a um, basically a process of gratitude. Nothing more than that. Like for whatever they have contributed in your life, and you're just wishing them. Uh, very good in their journey, uh, you know, because they are also evolving into, uh, you know, whether it's an, uh, the next Janma or Mukti, we don't know, but our part is to connect to them and offer them that Tarpan and uh, perform Anadan in their name. And they definitely will uh, come down and see you, what you're doing, and they're watching you all the time. Uh, so, as I'm shooting this video, uh, even during Pitrapaksh, I'm sure they're watching me. And uh, definitely they will be happy to know that we are spreading this uh, kind of a vibration and love for ancestors which is very very important because their love and blessings can take us uh, a long way and we can face life with a, a beautiful smile. Thank you. Namaste.